What's up? What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are back. We are back. Welcome to Go Elite. I'm Jonathan Jones, and I am coming to you by way of Waterloo, Iowa. Look how beautiful it is. It's a beautiful morning, beautiful day. We're just blessed to be a part of it. I'm just grateful and to be able. Today, uh, we're going to talk about uh, uh, one of our three objectives. Um, at Elite, um, and learn, grow, and advance. The first one we're gonna talk about is learn. And the process of understanding, the process of understanding. Um, we all understand the process of learning. Um, as, I, as I noted uh, in my last video, we all have experience in learning, you know what I'm saying? And so even now, um, I'm learning how to operate this equipment. I'm learning how to operate uh, the videos and navigate uh, how to, integrate the videos into the into the social media platforms and what things I have to do and what things I can't do or shouldn't do and so on and so forth so I'm in that process right now of learning <clears throat> and so all of us are in that same process of learning as well everyone that woke up this morning um, that was able to wake up this morning and that was um, able to get up and do what they normally do they had to figure out, okay, what are we gonna do today? How are we gonna do it today? What, what's gonna go on today? They have an idea, but but once you go into it, there's a lot of things that come with it that, that you didn't have before, you just had an idea. So we're gonna talk about the process of learning. So um, before I get all the way into it, I just wanna give a good shout out to everybody that uh, you know, shared a video yesterday, everybody that uh, posted a comment, everyone that logged on, viewed it. We, t we appreciate you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Um, I want to give a big shout out uh, to my people um, at Gift of Life, my pastor, uh, and my bishop, uh, Bryony e. Hill, and Pastor Judea Jude e. Hill. We love you. We love you. We love you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We want to give a big shout out to everybody in Omaha, all my family, everybody that was watching and tuned in. We love you. We love you. We love you. We appreciate you. Um, we can't do it without without you. Um, and we understand that this is a process. And so, you know, we're going to go after it. You know, I told myself once once I get started. I already know me, you know, once I get in the groove, it's over, it's a wrap. So here we are, we back. I almost talked myself out of it again, but guess what? We're learning, the sun is shining upon all of us. And so I wanna, uh, uh, just to say that, to let anybody know, hey man, I, I'm not, I am not invincible. And so everyone has to go through a process and I'm going through my process and so to speak, or speaking of, excuse me, the learn portion, I'm, I'm, I'm going through the process of understanding, the process of understanding what was going, what, what I need to do and, and how I need to go about doing it. You know what I mean? So right now, I got my notes. We're ready to rock and roll. Yesterday, uh, or, or my last video was uh, 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 expert. Ah, I always get that word. Uh, it was basically off the top. Um, and um, just a heartfelt, uh, just 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 coming purely from the heart. Today we got a few notes and a few pointers that I wanted to hit and uh, share with you uh, to help you in your journey of the process of learning. Because the the process of learning it never stops. Let me say that again: the process of learning it never stops. You 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 can you can learn so many things, but yet and still, with that knowledge that you have acquired, you still have so much more to learn and so much more to go. And so back into it, learn, learn. What is learn? Definitions, few definitions. To acquire knowledge of, to discover, uh, to become an expert in, um, to, to be um, uh, aware of and, and gain experience in. Here, let me go, let me, get, let me get right to it. Let me get this little word real quick. You know what I mean? I got, I got the tools now, we ready. We ready, we ready. Oh yeah, uh, uh, to uh, become proficient in, woo, to become an expert in, uh, to work at, to apply yourself to, uh, to become, uh, to learn word for word in terms of memorization, the discovery process, to, to be informed, to have it, to get, to get to know whatever it is 
that you're getting to know. We're talking about the learn process. And so in that process of learning, um, we, we find ourselves, uh, in most cases, we find ourselves now, we, we, we want to go into a situation as if we know everything. I know it all. I got it all figured out. You ain't got to tell me nothing. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm good. Yeah, I got this. My little, my little biscuit, little journey. Uh, she's five, right? Four right now, about to be five. Her attitude is this: I have it all figured. I've been here before. You ain't got to tell me nothing. Anything that's going on, she's gonna approach it that as if she's already done it, already done it. She's only four years old. I got this figured out. And then once she gets to it, then she realizes that she needs some help or she needs some sort of guidance. And the reason why I brought that up is. We, we don't like to, to show ourselves to be vulnerable, even with ourselves. And, and in the learning process, you must be open, AKA vulnerable. You must be open and AKA vulnerable. You must be able to, to, to have the capacity to say, you know what? I don't know this, or I have no knowledge of this, or I'm unaware of this, so, or I'm uninformed. And a lot of people don't wanna do that. They don't wanna do that especially within themselves we think we know ourselves we think oh, okay it's me i know but we don't soul search we don't think we don't meditate we don't pray we don't we don't analyze certain things all we do is make the decision and make a choice and go we're just on a go 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 learn to be open and vulnerable not only with others but first with yourself with yourself so you can gain some information, gain some information, gain some information. So we're gonna go right on. Um, some things that we need to learn. This is some of the things that I, I tell myself. We need to learn from our mistakes. Learn from our mistakes. Uh, we were speaking on the last post about forgiving ourselves. And one of the biggest things we must do is be open and vulnerable so we can learn from our mistakes. There are things that happen that we've done. There's decisions that we've made that we can't take back. But we can learn from that if it's considered to be a mistake. Some accidents are considered mistakes. But is an accident and a mistake the same thing? Maybe you did something unknowingly and, and it just happened. And it was, it, was, it was done in a wrong way, accident. But I'm talking about mistakes. Like you knew what was going on in terms of your choice. You knew the consequences uh, on the back end if you, if you carried out that decision. And you knew that what you were participating in was in that gray, shady area, learning from your mistakes. So you can take that process of understanding and say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna learn from this. I'm gonna let this help me. I'm gonna let this be a teachable moment because we feel like we have it all figured out. We feel like we have it all figured out. Oh, we got it. Okay. Another one we need to learn. We need to learn how to be okay with whatever insecurities we have. Whatever insecurities we have. Learning from our mistakes and then learning from our insecurities. And I'm going to stick on that insecurity point for a little bit. Because those, that, the, the mis learning from our mistakes, hey, you know, that kind of comes and goes. But the, the insecurity part that part pushes people, whoa, to the crazy point. Yeah, crazy point. One thing is the insecurities are protected by something that we all understand. We all know about it. What, what protects our insecurities? Anybody know? Anybody know? Anybody know? Our pride. Pride. Our pride gets in the way and tries to protect our insecurities. And, and somebody says something in goodwill and in good nature to help us, to guide us, and it steps on our insecurity. Oh, man. And we got a problem. We get mad. We get mad, and our pride rises up to protect us and our insecurities, and we do unnecessary things. Unnecessary things. Do you know it's, it's kids and, and youngins right now out here posting videos, just like I'm posting a video right now, live videos, talking about each other because their pride is hurt. And I'm talking about talking about each other in a way that ends in violence and someone dying because their pride is hurt. Like for real, like crazy, like going live and marketing the, their pain 
as 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 if it's uh bravery and I don't know I'm I'm doing what I got to do. You going you going to get this and get that. And people are losing their lives because of pride. And more importantly, because individuals are not acknowledging the insecurities that they have. They think they got it all together. Or excuse me, we. I ain't going to say they because I, I was a knucklehead too. And still is, in, in a sense, still trying to learn things. Very raw and still trying to learn things in a, in a manner that is helpful. And here's another one we need to learn how to... We need to learn how to step out of our comfort zone. Our comfort zone is, is our little... It's a little spot that's cozy, wozy, wozy, and it's and, and, it, and it's protecting us. The train is coming through. Hopefully, it don't it don't kill my noise. Can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? The train is coming through. Let me let the train pass through. See, I'm, I got to learn how to move, move, and maneuver this spot. But it's so the sun is so beautiful, it's so amazing. Yeah, we're gonna ride through it. We're gonna ride through it. Right now, I'm, in, I'm, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. Great, great example. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I could be discouraged. I could be like, dang, this train. Or, but no, I understand that that is going to pass. <laughs> you understand? I understand that that moment is going to pass. And I understand that what I have set out to do, what I purpose to do, is more important, more important than me being comfortable. Another thing, hey, me standing out here in the middle of a field, talking to my phone on a tripod while people are getting ready for work and there's some individuals over there playing basketball, a gentleman walking his dog, another uh, few people in their cars, they're watching me. It's like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm not telling you something that I ain't telling myself. I tell myself these things all the way. So I'm, I'm gonna repeat those. We need to learn how to be, learn from our mistakes uh, uh, learn to be okay with whatever, whatever insecurities we have and, and to learn how to step out of our comfort zone. And we're talking about embracing life's instincts to evolve. We're trying to go elite. We're trying to, we're trying to progress in a manner that is helpful for, for us. And we're on the learn, the learn portion. And we're, and we're looking to understand what is it that we need to learn and how can we use this information to help us in a meaningful way. How can we use this information to guide us in a meaningful way? The Bible speaks about uh, uh, understanding. In all thy getting, getting understanding. It says it in Proverbs 4 and says, and it really says this, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get an understanding. Get an understanding. What? What do you mean, get an understanding? What does that mean? Oh, we can look that up. ha, 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 ha. You know, understanding involves the comprehension, discernment, um, and involves insight, um, familiarity. You know, uh, uh, um, it involves uh, mastery. Get an understanding. Get an understanding of yourself. Get an understanding of your mistakes. Get an understanding of your insecurities. Get an understanding of how to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. That is a process, of, uh, that is a learning process. And the process of understanding is how am I gonna put myself in these, in these arenas and in these sections and, and in these places that I'm unfamiliar with. If I'm too busy pretending that as if I don't make mistakes and I'm too busy pretending as if I don't have insecure, insecurities and I'm too busy uh, 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 pretending like I'm, I'm, I'm good all the time. Everything is gravy. Don't nothing touch me, bother me, or nothing. Come on, man. We be for real. We got to be real with ourselves. We got to help. In order to help ourselves, we got to be honest with ourselves. And so we're learning how to, to, to um, enforce the information that we gain through the mistake, through, through the insecurities, through the, the discomfort that we know we will feel. And we're learning to push ourselves beyond those barriers because those are amazingly large barriers. Mistakes that people are doing things in an in, 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 in attempt to not make a, a certain one certain mistake. And in, in, in that attempt, they're creating three or four or five more other mistakes unknowingly because they're too busy and afraid to, I just don't want to mess up on this. And they're ignoring all of these things 
that are transpiring because of that decision versus understanding that, hey, you know what? I'm human. I'm a person. Things are going to happen. Stuff is going to take place. Maybe let's see what's go let's see, you know, what's going to come come out of this decision. And if and if it doesn't come out in the way that we see fit or that we see it to happen, then we consider that a mistake versus a learning process, a process of understanding. You have to you have to um, do the test run. You know what I'm saying? You have to figure out, okay, where do I stand? This is, this is okay, right here, this is a good spot. But when I first start these videos, which is yesterday, actually, my first video, today is my second video. But when I get to my 10th video, is it going to look the same? When I get to my 20th video, is it the backdrop going to be the same? Am I going to be in the same position? Am I going to be uh, um, utilizing the same tools to get the information to you? There's steps, there's processes, and we won't allow ourselves to go through those steps and processes because we are so, so, we're so bogged down on judging ourselves and having to have to have it right, right then, right there, right now. Microwave, like instant. Instant, like what? Instant? Whew. Even the microwave ain't instant. Even though you gotta hit that little minute, that's quick, but you ain't about to throw it in there, cut the, shut the door, and then open it back up and everything is ding, it's done. It's still a process. You still have to wait. You Just because you go through the drive-thru, it's not an instant thing. You gotta go to the line, talk to the, talk to a, a place your order. You gotta wait in the line, go around, they have to create the order. It's not you place your order and then the order is given to you instantly. And that's not how it works. There's a process and, and, the, and the, the, the process of understanding while we're learning, that is as pivotal, the process. There's a process in everything that we do. And so if we want to help ourselves, we have to give ourselves room to understand that there's a process. And to be aware of what's going on in that process. So if it's if it's us um, just looking to take the next step, because everything doesn't have to equate in terms of life and mistakes. And, to, you know, everybody isn't going through horrible times. Everybody is not dealing with addictions and, and, and abuse and uh, uh, um, depression and all of these things, because it. it Everyone is has a, a everyone is um, basically um, dealing with certain things that they're dealing with within their life. So I can relate to the pain part, but I can also speak to those that are that are doing what they're supposed to do. But they need some help. They need some guidance. They need some direction and understanding. On okay, now what do I do? How do I attack this challenge? Because challenges are what life is made of, and that's why we want to present Elite to you because we want to give you the necessary tools to help you, not just in the moment, but in every moment, in every instant, every situation. What, regardless of what it is, spiritual or physical, what, there's a process in everything and we must be comfortable with setting ourselves in that process. Sometimes we don't trust ourselves. That's why we make mistakes. A lot of times we don't, we don't, we don't forgive ourselves and, and, and we're not open, you know what I mean? And that's why we, we, we hold on to those insecurities. We hold on to them. A lot of times we, we, we're so, um, we're so, trained in what we do that we do not want to get outside of our comfort zone and these are the things we must do and you wouldn't believe a lot of us just thinking about our mistakes oh that's the, what mistake i don't mess up thinking about our insecurities what I, i'm i'm i do everything right remove i'm always we are, oh, I got, I'm, I'm outside of my comfort zone. We'll say, I, I do stuff for people. I do this or I do that. and As if we know we're, we're, we're doing everything we're supposed to do. Now, now, I'm not saying that your efforts and your attempts are, you know, that don't mean nothing. All I'm saying is there's always more that you can do 
there's always more that you can apply and there's always more that that you can give yourself in terms of energy and effort in terms of building consistency that's it that's it we ain't trying to beat nobody down no i want to help you and so for those that are you know because i, I don't want to leave nobody out there's some people say well i ain't depressed i'm cool you know i'm good I, I do what i need to do i handle what i need to handle i pray i meditate but there are moments where you get frustrated there are moments when you get um challenged to the degree where you like damn you got to take a step back and when you take that step back okay what, what do i need to do and you process that stuff and there are things that you already know you already know what to do but yet and still sometimes you still take the step back like dang like i don't know is this gonna work it worked before, but in this situation, you still like, hey, let me take the step back and see. <sighs> Gather yourself and onward we go. So it, there's different spectrums, but overall and generally, we're, we're here to understand how to, to be intentional and strategic with our choices. And our choices help develop who we are, our character, you know, who we hang around with, the things that we do. And so in that learning, you learn who you learn who's with you. You learn who's not. You learn who's going to help you. You learn who's not. You learn uh, um, what's working and you learn what's not. And you apply that to, 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 to help you to move forward after you understand, after you gain the information, after you've seen it and after you've went through it. And then it gives you what you need. Gives you what you need. So uh, in that learning uh, from our mistakes and learning about our insecurities and, and us learning to step out of our comfort zones, we learn a few things. We, 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 first learn, we first learn who we are. We learn who we are. We learn what we're made of. We, you know, we talk all that talk, but until you until you in the game, until you in the fire, until you're in the trenches. You ain't going to know what you made of. You don't want to learn from your mistakes. If you don't learn from your mistakes, how you going how you going how you going to know what you got? You just keep doing the same thing, keep staying in that same groove, staying in the same lane so to speak. How are you going to grow? Stay the same, don't change. I got this. Don't don't face those insecurities, those things that you don't let anybody know. You 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 know what I mean? You cover it up either with makeup, you cover it up with with overworking, you cover it up with with money. Oh, I got all this bread, so I ain't got to talk about my insecurities. You cover it up with with hurting people, you cover it up with speaking about other people's business versus speaking about your own. You cover it up. You cover it up. We cover it up. I I'm telling you from I'm telling you not saying anything that I haven't done. I'm not just saying stuff. So we have to we have to allow ourselves to learn who we are because once we once we learn from our mistakes, we gather a little information, and with that information, it'll give us um, some insight on what can help us and, and the things that can help us develop us in a major way. And so when we proceed to do certain things and, and 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 go out and say hey this is what i'm going to do prime example me now i'm i told myself this is what i'm going to do i had to learn from my mistakes to figure out okay how am i going to get out here to encourage others when i ain't even learned from the mistakes to encourage myself i can't tell you oh be you need we need to this and we need to that and and i'm not personally doing it so I had to learn from my mistakes and put myself in, out here to say, you know what, let me see what I made of. Let me see, let me see, you know, what I got. You, you, you said you healed, you okay. You said you want to do this. Now, now get out here and let's see what you got. Let's see what you can do. Let's see if you can do this. And I've been taking those steps, gradually taking those steps since, I want to say 2015, 2016, gradually taking those steps to get back to this point, to be able to say that. To help someone because if if I'm not looking at myself and analyzing myself and actually going over the necessary things I need to go over in terms of reflection of me then how can I reflect to you 
sincerity and reflect to you something that I haven't even reflected on myself. What? No, I had to go through, you know, learning from my mistakes. I had to go through being okay with my insecurities, whatever insecurity I had. I, man, I'm standing here talking to a phone connected to a tripod. To me, it's that's whack. But I, hey, you see me? We 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 out here. We out here. And there's something that someone wants to do right now. There's something that someone has in their mind. They want to do it. They want to get to it. But they're holding themselves back. They ain't, they ain't going to do it. Uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. What do you mean you can't do it? Learn from the mistakes you've made previous. If you're being held back because you feel like you're inadequate based off of the lack of experience or based off of uh, you being... Uh, uh, unable or, or the, the improper knowledge or maybe you just you just you just you just don't want to get out that comfort zone or their insecurities or whatever it is but you take that, that those things and you learn from them you like I said you jot that jot these notes down and you figure out okay you know what we're gonna jump out here we know last time when I did a and B, I got C and D C was good and D was bad so we gonna we know this this is a potential I can potentially do this and potentially get that. So we're going to go and we're going to expect greatness. But if I get another D and, I, and, it, and, it's, and it doesn't turn out the way I want it to turn out, instead of me quitting and instead of me sitting on my, on my purpose or sitting on my in, instinctual properties that's letting me know to do it, I take it and I analyze and I say, okay, all right, let's break this down. All right, what do, we, where do, what do we do here? And what do we do here? And what do we do here? And now, okay, all right, we ready. Now we ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go after it. Let's, let's, let's make it happen. Let me go back. Understanding is key. And understanding intelligence, brain power, intuition. Understanding is key. Understand where you at. Understand what you're working with. Understand your tools. Understand your capabilities. And you got to test these things. These things need to be tested. If you say you have faith, you have to test it. It has to be tested. It has to be tried. If you say you believe, it has to be tested. Is it proven? Is it just... Because I can say all of these things, but until I, until I actually be intentional with my action and place myself out there, then I'm not going to know. No one's going to know. You're not going to know. So you get an understanding of, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Somebody wants to start a business. Somebody wants to, uh, to go to school or go back to school. Somebody wants to go after something and achieve it, but they're holding themselves back. I don't know. I can't do it. You can do it. Yes, you can. Be intentional. Be intentional. Count up the cost. Figure out what it is that you need. Ask questions. Talk to someone that is in that arena. Talk to someone that is already doing it. Follow someone that you check this out. You don't even if you if you're afraid to talk to people, technology is so beautiful. You can glimpse into anyone's professional or personal life based off of these devices. They are we're openly showing you what we're doing. We are, we are giving you an invitation. Read right now, I'm giving you an invitation into, into my, my mindset and, and what I feel and what I think and how I do. You follow my personal page. I'm giving you an invitation by everything I post. I'm branding myself to let you know how I get things done. And everyone else is doing the same thing on their personal pages or business pages or, or whatever page, if it's Facebook, if it's Instagram, if it's Twitter, if it's Snap, if it's YouTube, these are opening windows that we can glance in and see how they're doing what they're doing, even if they're not telling you specifically in detail, but they're still giving you the information. You just have to be wise enough and understand how to receive and read it. You, there's no excuse now. There's like there's zero excuse. Shout out to my man Lyrical. He always lets me know. You know I'm a I'm a photographer by trade. Yeah, Jones picks. 
he always lets me know YouTube University. Everything that he's done, he's taught himself, trained himself, equipped himself by watching others and then applying that information to be successful in his business. Why can't we do, why can't I do the same thing? Why can't you do the same thing? There is no excuse. I mean, there, I mean, I mean, everything you can think of, anything you can think of, someone is already doing it and displaying it in full force. Whether it be afar, as we use these devices to see people afar, or right in your hometown, right in your home location where your address is, where you are every day in that community prime examples we have to be open enough and vulnerable enough to see okay this is what they doing instead of us using these devices to 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 post you know illicit memes and joking memes and oh they doing this and i feel like that and and, and throwing around our emotions no let's let's use this let's use these devices to study what it is we want to do let me find somebody that's doing what it is that i want to do let me connect with somebody that is doing what i want to do yeah i ain't saying you can't do that stuff but if, if you want to do more in life than you already doing you ain't got time to be to be lollygagging you got to learn and you got to go through the process of understanding so you can apply something to your life to help you, to get you beyond this step to this next step. And so that's what it is. And I'm, I'm just telling you from experience. I take these, I take my, my personal page and I go and I look, whether I'm on Instagram, whether I'm on Facebook, whether I'm on Snap. And I go and I look and I, and I look for people that are helping me. And that are going to help me. Now, let me be straight up with you. Was it like that always? No. No, I had to go through the process. Because <laughs> when I first started, when I first started, I, you know, you know what I was doing on Instagram? Looking at booties. Like every other dude. Looking at twerk, twerk, twerk. Oh, oh hey, looking at, looking at the Instagram. Looking at the, you know what I'm saying? The turn up and all that. Just being real. But when I start becoming intentional and saying, man, that ain't helping me do nothing. <laughs> That's not helping me. It's, it's corrupting my mind. It's distorting the reality. So I, I want to do more than what I'm doing. So me, me lollygag, lollygagging on, on, on social media ain't helping me. It's hurting me. It's poisoning me. So I had to say, let me, let me, let me, let me get into the process. Let me learn from my mistakes. I ain't judging myself. I'm just being real. Most cats, you can look at they, they search feed and that's all they looking at. Cakes, breasts, speaking for the brothers. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, change it up. So, so did, let's, all right, this, all right, all right. You know, I had to step back and say, man, I ain't helping myself. I identified the mistake. Now, can I do that? And you, I can do whatever I want. But I, I ain't going to be able to do that and, and, and looking to be successful in business. If I'm looking at Gluteus Maximus all day, how am I going to help myself? What am I learning in that? What am I understanding in that? All I'm learning is to be more lustful. All I'm learning is to be extremely uh, unaware of my reality. I'm giving myself information. I'm giving myself this information and my mind is processing it. And it's and it's and my body is going to react to it. So all day I'm on the gram looking at cake. So when I get in front of a female, then I can't I can't control my eyes. I can't control my I can't control myself. You be wondering why I be doing this stuff because you feed yourself this stuff. You feed yourself this stuff. If you're looking at all day um, emotional posts about how this ain't going around and, and how I'm mad about this and how I'm, I'm this great parent and don't nobody give me credit and all of these things emotionally, what are you going to turn into? An emotional wreck because you follow that stuff and you look at that stuff and that stuff goes in and it's processed versus you being intentional with what you see. There has to be a balance. Now, I ain't tripping off. I'm, not, I'm telling you, I am not saying I'm above a reproach no i love a good laugh too i love a good funny meme or somebody doing something silly because 
that's you know that's why we have laughter that's why we have joy but i'm talking about the overt stuff that just come on that just out of this world now that's just too much and we know there's a balance to everything and we feed ourselves too much it's gluttony we just feed ourselves feed ourselves and we feed we feed our lust we feed our greed we feed our desire to be worshiped above what God has purposed us to do. Talking about learn and learning specifically in the process of understanding. So, so another thing, let's see, um, my insecurities. One of my biggest insecurities is um, speaking to people. I love to help people, but I'm talking about on this device. <laughs> if we are in person, I'm always trying to help someone. I'm, if you know me, I'm always trying to say, hey, I'm going to encourage you. Hey, even if I ain't feeling it myself for myself, I always want to help somebody. I love to see individuals thrive. And so my, one of my biggest insecurities is being on this device, on this camera and being comfortable with me expressing information because I'm judging myself. I, after my last video, after a few likes and shares, I was blown away. Like, I was like, whoa, this is, I figured I'd have a few people responding, but I didn't think it was gonna, you know what I mean? A hundred, a hundred posts or a hundred views to me is like a million views. If I got a hundred views, I'm like, oh man, well, hey, shoot, we really got something going. What? I had to talk to my mom and my wife, and, do I make sense? And my, I'm, I'm, I'm analyzing them because I'm just, I'm just insecure. I, 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 my insecurity lies in my, my presentation, and I want to make sure that I display the points and not, uh, not, not be misunderstood. There it is. Not being mis, I hate being misunderstood. I hate when people take my pure intentions and find some sort of some sort of little corner and say oh you you wrong for ah that ain't how and i'm like i did not mean it that way that's I, i'm i'm saying it to say how to help i'm not saying it to say you were horrible come on because if somebody come at me like that i'm gonna be wait you tripping so I, I i want to be intentional on what i do because one thing is for sure what you give to others is a reflection of what you give to yourself if you closed off all the time, I ain't, then you're not allowing yourself. If you're closed off to others, then you're, you're closed off to yourself. You can't receive anything and you can't give anything. We, 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 have, to be, we have to be comfortable with getting being uncomfortable. I just heard this phrase. We have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And so I'm really learning how to, all right, here we are. We're standing here again. Whew. I understand when the Bible says to be unashamed of the gospel. Because I'm thinking to be unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, meaning, oh, I'm unashamed to tell people about the goodness. It's, it's not just that. I'm, am I unashamed to stand here and to present truth to you? I just want to help and be truthful. But I don't, I don't, I hold myself back because of all of the things that I feel that are in the way. And, and I'm not trying to say, oh, I have to hit you over the head. No, I just want to be an example. As someone said to me, thank you for being an example. And it's like, dang, it really works. It works. So I have to be unashamed of my insecurities. I have to be unashamed of my mistakes. And I have to be unashamed of being outside of my comfort, uh, comfort zone in a pure way. Not to cause mess, not to stir up drama, not to, to continue the, the, the cycle of dysfunction, but to help. But to help. And to carry someone's uh, load, to help them, to carry someone over the threshold of picking them up so they can carry themselves. So once we, once we do that, we learn who we are. We're the chosen one. We're the chosen ones. You want to know why you're chosen? Because God chose you to be you. 
And you be like, oh, I ain't nothing and I ain't nobody. No, he picked you. He said he knew you before you were formed. He said, I, I designed you to be in this physical realm to do amazing things. And we brainwash ourselves to, 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 to what society gives us and, and, and what our surroundings give us to, to stop that, to die that down, to destroy it. And we sit on it. You have every ability, every ability to do anything, anything. But you know what we do? We just sit on it. We just sit on it. Oh, I'm horrible. Mistakes. I can't do nothing. Insecurities. I ain't trying to do that. Comfort zone. I ain't trying to do that. I don't do that. We don't, I ain't doing that. I ain't going over there. We ain't talking to them people. No new friends. Come on. We, we, we are designed for not only ourselves, but for each other. Self-made. People are talking about they self-made. Somebody helped you along the way. I understand you're self-made based off of you taking the ne necessary initiative to be intentional. But that's just that means you made a choice. You made a decision to do it. And once you make a decision to do it, others will follow you and help you and back you in that decision. So you're not necessarily self-made. You just made a decision to make, to make a difference and to get things done. But you need someone to help you. You need a team. You need a, a checks and balances. You need individuals to hold you accountable, to give you ideas, to give you resources from their perspective, to give you... Uh, um, what they have in terms of their purpose to help you. And so that's what it's about. That's what it's about. And us holding ourselves back based on our mistakes and, and not learning from them, based on our insecurities and not learning from them, based on us just staying in our comfort zone and not learning from them. I don't want to, and I'm telling I've done it. I have, I am a super duper homebody. I can chill in the house all day. Ain't nobody knocking on my door and I'm a-okay. I'm chilling, but how am I going to help anybody? How am I going to help myself? How am I going to, how am I going to learn anything as we're talking specifically? How am I going to receive anything to help me? And especially me now, who I, what? I don't have a college degree. Thank God I graduated from high school. I don't have a, 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 this enormous trade. I taught myself photography and videography, taught myself. I have to get out and intermingle with people. I have to, hey, have you seen this? And I have to do these things. So back to the point, next one. So we learn who we are. We learn we're the chosen one. The next one, we learn what we're made of. Wow. When you get in there and when you start learning from your mistakes and you get in there and, and you learn from your insecurities and you and you learn to get out of that comfort zone, you not only learn who you are, you're the chosen one. You have everything you need and everything you need is in you. All you got to do is get after it. But you learn what you're made of. I'm, I'm right now. I'm seeing dang Jones. You out here. I'm in. The, I'm, I'm talking right now. And in my mind, in my subconscious, I'm like, dude, you really doing it. You really out here saying what you said you was going to do and you didn't stop yourself like you normally do. Unlimited power. Unlimited power. It, 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 I'm telling you. And then in that, you, you find out, you find out, okay, if I can, especially when you find out you can do something, when you find out you can do something, because at first, you 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 in the line, you're apprehensive, you're kind of stiff. But when you find out you you look, you know, you look, you you, you move a little bit, you, we ain't failed yet, and you move this way, you, we still here, you look around, you you get comfortable. Oh shoot, man, we yeah, baby, we get you know what I'm saying? You you start moving a little bit, you get a little hype, you get a little shoe, man. You you kick your feet back, you start. But before, before you didn't know that though. You unaware. You didn't realize it. Oh man, what am I going to do? How am I, how am I going to do this? How am I going to get this? What's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm the chosen one. I know I'm, I'm making a choice right now. 
but I don't know, I don't know what I'm made of. And then you get out there and you realize, man, I'm made of unlimited power, unlimited power, unlimited, the, the same energy that the sun is beaming down on this earth, on this field that I'm in, on these trees, you made of that. The same energy that allows these, these, these leaves to grow on and fall off, stay dormant, stay alive, grow back in season. The trees don't just wither away and die. And fall. No, they're still alive. You're made of that. The same thing that has every star sitting where it's been sitting since the beginning of eons, you're made of that. Unlimited power. The very thing that when you get a cut on your hand and you watch it, Day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, that thing done healed up. You didn't have to do nothing but watch it heal itself. That is the power that is inside of you. The same thing that you watch and you utilize these, these tools and these devices that a person made. A person made this. A person made the device. A person made all of these tools and gadgets. Someone made it. Just like they made it, it's inside of you. You can make it too. But we get in our way. We get in our way of our own mistakes. And we're not, we're not willing to learn. We're not willing to take the process of understanding, okay, these mistakes are not to hold me back. They're to lift me up. They're to give me guidance on what it is I can and can't, should and shouldn't. It's a, it's a, it's a guiding force. And, and, and especially in understanding Understanding is an intuition. Intuition is a natural innate ability given to you by God. No one can take it away. No one can say it, it doesn't exist. You have the ability. All you have to do is tap into it. <laughs> just tap into it. How do I tap into it? I just told you earlier. Hey, be intentional with your efforts. You have a device that can reach the world. You can reach a billionaire right now. And I'm talking about, man, you may not be able to, to, I'm talking about talk to them directly, but you can look into their lives and see the decisions that they're making and not making and use that to your advantage and your benefit. You can, you can tap into to people that are doing amazing things right now and say, dang, okay, let me take these necessary steps because they're telling you this information is out there. It is just floating around waiting for you to grab it. But you know what we do? We stay in our little comfort zone. Like I was talking about me before. I was the, the Instagram booty guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm just scrolling, scrolling lust, looking for lust, looking for lust, looking for more lust, and not giving myself what I need in order to be a, a better man, a better person, you know, an achiever. So when I got, un when I really understood, like, man, I, I'm tripping, man. Well, I, I want to do more. I have a standard. We were talking about that standard. Now I have to learn to, to stay above it. Because when I'm, when I'm below it, I'm all depressed and all this. Yeah, you down. Yeah, you down. Depression is real. You get down, that thing hits you hard. And that thing lay, lay on you heavy. But you, get, you know what we do when we depress? We sit in that thing. That's like sitting in, you know, the toilet bowl material. Just sitting and dwelling in it. It stank. It ain't helpful. It's not nutritious. It's, we just in it. Just, uh. And we choose to stay there. We say, man, this is where I belong. Below the standard. But guess what? And, and, and there's sparks in depression. There's a spark when you feel... I got it. You know, you'd you be like, you know what? I ain't doing this no more. I ain't doing this no more. You wake up to yourself. I ain't doing this no more. I ain't being depressed. I'm getting happy. I'm going to get dressed. I'm about to, you know, for the females, I'm going to put the makeup on. For the brothers, I'm going to put my fresh gear on. I'm about to go, you know what I'm saying? We're about to go do something. We, you pump ourselves up to, you know what I'm saying? And then we get to the door or we get to the function or we get around our friends and then we're reminded of man you still ain't nothing you depressed you remember and guess what we do guess what we do depression calls ring, 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 ring. hello you remember you still depressed and you you in the middle of making the choice to get out of it and you you right I, i'm right yeah you right i am depressed all right y'all i'm back depressed and, and 
Just like that, we... And we fall right back into it. Fall right back into it as a choice. Now, I ain't saying depression is, is a game and it ain't real and it ain't heavy. <laughs> but once you acknowledge it and you realize that, it's, that, that you're in it, you're in a, in, in a mentally low state. And, and you take the, 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 the time to say, you know what, I'm about to get out of this thing. And that thing call you back. Don't look, don't go back. You got, the, you got the opportunity right there. You at the function. You at the spot. You got the opportunity. Oh, this is about to be good. Ooh, you got the opportunity right there to tell your friends, to tell who you're around, to tell, hey, hey, y'all, I ain't feeling good or I'm depressed or I'm whatever. Woo, woo, woo. Guess why we don't say nothing in those moments? Because it's not an atmosphere that's going to receive us and help us. A lot of the times we in the function, people are intoxicated and high or or doing things that are not helpful to us. And so what we do is we say, dang, they ain't going to care because they numbing themselves anyway. They ain't really trying to face themselves, but they OK with numbing themselves. I want to deal with myself and face my, my problems, but I don't have nobody there to help me. So I might as well just go back. I might as well. I might ain't nobody don't. That's why it's important to be around individuals that's going to lift you up. And I'm not talking about people that like to drink and smoke and all that. You do your thing how you want to do. But I'm talking about an environment that is going to help me. If you drunk and high all the time, you don't have time to listen to what I got going on. And you're not going to give me no sound advice to help me out of what I'm in this hole. I've been there. I done went to the function. I done been on the block with the homies. And I done looked around and I said, man... Don't nobody, ain't nobody going to hear what I got the, got going on. Ain't nobody got time for me. Everybody got their own thing going on. They, they trying to escape. They, they hurts and they fears with habits and stuff. So ain't no sense in me saying nothing. So I'm in an environment that's not going to help me. So the reason we go back is because we haven't set ourselves up to, to be in an environment that's going to help us. So we turn around and we just go on back. My well. My will. <laughs> Instead of saying, you know what? Oh, wait, let's 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 take this same energy and same thought and put us in an environment that's going to help us thrive. That's how people go to church and get hurt and destroyed, because they be like, I don't want to go to the block no more. I ain't going to the homies no more. I'm about to go to the church where they specialize in helping people. And you go up in there and you got another thing waiting for you. Ooh, the spirit is high. Everybody is, yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And you up in there, you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm about to get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you start finding out that the junk that's out in the streets is still in the junk that's in this building. And you're like, dang. And you wake up like, oh, wow, okay. And you realize something. You realize something. Because this is why it's important to embrace life's instincts to evolve. You realize something. It starts with you. Because if you're looking to give all your problems to individuals, that means you haven't started with you. I remember, I, I remember going in and I'm going in and I'm, <laughs> I'm about to get saved today. I'm about to join the church and I'm about to get, <laughs> no, man, ain't, no. Because if you're not facing you and dealing with you, you're going to give your mess to the same people that you ran away from. It's just going to be in a different form and in a different arena and it's going to give you the same results. And then you're going to be hurt and you blaming the church people instead of you taking it uh, um, accountability for you you got a lot you got mistakes i'm telling you you got to learn from these mistakes you got to learn to be okay with these insecurities and you got to learn to be uh, okay with being uncomfortable out of your comfort zone and that's within you and once you take those those three steps learning from your mistakes learning about learning to be okay with those insecurities and learning to be outside of your comfort zone you can step in any arena and thrive because now i'm not looking for people to to give me something I done already gave it to myself. Now I'm looking for prime examples. And I can read. I done, I done came from nothing. I done came from, from people that lie, cheat, steal. So I have a keen eye and a good sensitivity and a great discernment to say, oh, he full of junk, she full of junk, they for real. So I'm going to just gravitate to the for real. I'm just telling you what I do now. You, 
I'm telling, ain't nobody doing, I'm telling, and I'm not saying nobody does nothing for me, but I'm talking about like I was meaning that point of self-made. I have to make a choice. I have to make a choice. I'm not making no choice for somebody to tell me something that I'm not going to tell myself. So I'm going to follow what God has given me and I'm going to say, hey, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm not depending on people. I'm depending on the spirit of God that's in people that's going to help me. And I can identify that. If you pure, I'm going to find you. If you have great intentions, I'm going to find you. If you ain't no good, I'm going to overlook you. And don't mean I'm going to disrespect you. I'm going to show you love just like anybody else. What's popping, what's cracking, and I'm going to go my way and you're going to go your way. Right? That is what it is. I'm not pressing it. I'm not asking you to let's go kick it. I ain't saying come through. None of that. I'm learning. I'm going to learn and I'm going to take the process of understanding so I can do what I need to do. So now when I get in certain arenas, I know it's on me. It's on me. If I link up with the same garbage that I just left, then that's on me. If I link up with the click, I just left the click. I just left the click. I just left the backbiting, the backstabbing. And the, the, I just left that. And I came in another arena to, 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 to change myself. But you know what? I just wanted to be a part of the gang instead of doing what my purpose has called me to do. And that brings me to my next point. Once we learn who we are, once we learn what we're made of, then we can learn where we come from. Oh, <laughs> and a lot of people get mad about this. We come from the source. The source is God. The source is the creator. The source is everything. We come from directly from the pure source that has everything in place as we see it physically and spiritually. That's how we have unlimited power. We come from that. And that is going to drive you to open yourself, open yourself to the principles that Jesus speaks about. To receive. So you can say, oh, now I can, I can, I can love my neighbor and oh, oh, oh now i can i can uh, turn the other cheek and forgive now i can i can be a, a, a an example and a living witness and a testimony as jesus speaks about i can be the light you got to make these necessary steps within yourself first people be going and thinking that jesus is going to save them for them jesus ain't jesus said this you got to do this you got to do this People be mad. People get in there and pray to God and be like, God, do something now. And don't don't even. I got this bottle of water. I'm in the middle of the desert. I'm, am I going? I got a bottle of water, fresh, crispy, cold. You see the you see the, the, the sweat coming off this thing. And this is what we do. And I've done it before. This is what we do. We'll go in the church or in an arena or in a place that we feel we are, we're owed something. And just imagine being in a desert and you got a bottle of water and you pray, God, open this bottle for me. You. You got the it's in your hand. What are you praying for? God, this is what we do. Open the bottle for me. You, 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 you thirsty. It's white all over your mouth. It's fresh and cold. You can feel this cold. It's right there in your hand. And you asking God, you, you literally praying and saying, God, open this bottle for me. And God looking at you like, fool, you got the bottle in your hand. You have another hand and all you got to do is <laughs> and replenish yourself. Thank you, Lord. But this is what we do. God opened the bottle for me and, and nothing. We don't do it and we don't do it. And guess what we do? We in the desert. We thirsty. It's in here in the bottle. We, we praying to God to open the bottle for me. And we get mad at God because we don't want to take the necessary step to unlock. Let me say it again, to unlock what it is. We know we, we need to unlock for ourselves. And how do we unlock? How do we do it? What did you pray? If God then gave you the power, I just told you, you made an unlimited power. You can do it. This is this is before you even receive Jesus because he's already forgiven you. This is be, you have to take some steps. 
You got to take some steps. And, and, if, and if this water represents Jesus and you in the desert and God has given you everything you need to survive, to make it over that, that hill or that sand dune to, to, the, to the real oasis and, the, and where the water is plentiful, you got just enough to get you there. But you got to open it up. You sitting there, God, can you, can you, can you, and it's right there in your hand. And that's what we do. And you know why we people kill themselves? You know why, why we, I've thought about killing myself because we're unwilling to just, okay. Okay, there it is. Oh, I see the change. I see the difference. Now I can carry on. Now I can open myself up. Now I can be vulnerable. Now I can, but this is what we do. We hold on to that thing and we be mad at God. We literally curse God that gave us life and abundant life and all the things that we need to make it in the most difficult season in our life. We're talking about learn and the process of understanding. There's a process in this thing and you involved in it. You are involved in it. You have the power. You have the ability. You have it. And you were made where you come from. The source. You come directly from the source. The same source of energy that is powering this nuclear powerful sun that is beaming. You are made of that. So you have to learn who you are. You have to learn what you have. You have to learn where you come from. You have to learn to be okay. All right, I made the mistake. Now I'm, I'm going to take what I, God has given me and I'm, I'm cracking this thing open because I've had it the whole time. And I didn't even know it. And that's what's wrong. A lot of us don't, we, we don't want to admit it's some things that, that we don't know. And we're unwilling to admit, I did not know, or I do not know. Help me. And I, just like um, a parent helps a child. Oh, oh, this is how you do it, son. This is how you do it, daughter. Or a brother helps a sister. A friend helps a friend. A stranger helps someone in need. However you want to put it. It takes intentional action. It takes effort. It takes the understanding. It takes that measuring. It takes something more than just sitting and just looking to be catered to. Focus on me. Nobody wants to open my water. I'm in the desert. Hell, God don't want to listen to me. And I'm going to talk to everybody. And you go to people and people be seeing your bottle of water in your hand. And they be like, I'm not about to, I'm not about to start playing into this mess. You need to take the steps you need to take for you first. That's when you get thrown away. People be mad because people see the potential and they don't even want to take the steps to do it. I can't do that for you. That's between you and you. Once you take the steps to help you, you uncrack that thing. Then we can talk. Oh, we can talk all day because I know you're taking the necessary steps. But it's a lot of us, we take this and sometimes, you know what we do? We'll take it and we put it down on purpose. We'll, do, we'll put it down. I'm about to put it down. And then we'll sit there and pray. God, please help me. If you don't help me, I ain't never going to, I hate God. Come on. <clears throat> Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And all you're getting, get an understanding. Get an understanding. Learn the process of understanding. And the only way you learn is you actually adapt and receive the process of understanding you you give yourself room to okay let's say all right bro, this is gonna work that's gonna work and once you start receiving that information and you you start realizing some stuff some things are pointed out to you spiritually instinctually there's pointing out to you and, but but you don't know yet. You don't know. This is where people come into play because the spirit speaks to you. But people, God sends people in your life to confirm it. 
You just sat there on your bed for an hour thinking about something and a lot of things in your spirit was popping off, popping off, popping off. You get up, you go out, you meet and intermingle with people, conversations are had, and then somebody mentions the very thing that was dropped in your spirit and your intuition and your instincts and you say, Ugh. I was just, it's confirmation God is speaking to you and letting you know that it is real and apply it. So then you, once you get that information, don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. You see, I put my water bottle down. Don't ignore it. You know what you need to do? You, st you stop and say, you know what? I have what it takes. Maybe I put it down somewhere. Yes. And you search for what it is and then you go down. And you come back up and you say, oh, I have what it takes because you're in a dry place. Maybe you're in a dry season. But this is what God gives you to sustain you in that dry place, in that dry season. The living water of life. For those that know about what this means. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Bless me. You know what I'm saying? No, you know what I'm saying? I done did it. Bless me with the liquor. Yeah, bless the bottle. Yeah, no. Now we blessing ourselves in real life with the truth of the living water. Yeah, bless me. And we take this and we say, I have what it takes. The, the oasis is over there. But right now, I'm right here. So I'm going to just go here and... Ah, oh, I've been refreshed. I've been renewed. Now I can see. Oh, I didn't know. I need to do this and I need to do that. And, and you can carry on. You can carry on and you'll find people and connect with people that will help you carry on. And you have what it takes. You have what it takes. You got what it takes. You just have to acknowledge it and see it. That's why it's important to understand and be OK with your mistakes. That's why it's important to understand and be OK and embrace your insecurities. That's why it's important to understand and be OK to be uncomfortable and out of your comfort zone. Because when you bust this cap open, your life is going to change and you know it. That's why people pray, God, open it for me, because I don't want to be held accountable for everything I have to do the way I'm supposed to do, the way I know I'm supposed to do. So God, do it for me because I don't want to go through the pain. You're going to have to go through it if you want to grow. You think I'm going to sit here and wait? No. I got what it takes right here. I got what it takes. If I know I got what it takes, then I'm taking it. I'm taking it to get to where I know I need to be. And that's what we do to ourselves. We don't even allow ourselves the proper, the proper process of understanding and, and learning to give us what we need. And then we get mad and frustrated because we're depending on what the world is telling us to do. You know what the world is telling you to do? You have the, pre you got it right there. The world is telling you to waste it. Open it and do this. This is water that I can be drinking right now, but no, I'm just going to let it fall out and pour out. They want you to pour yourself out, but guess what? But guess what? Even when we do that, even when we do that, we waste it. We waste it, but guess what? God, <laughs> he's righteous and he's faithful. He's so faithful, so faithful. And he's just. And even when we pour out all of all of what he gave us to sustain us, guess what? It'll be the same thing right there. It's just a little bit. But that's all you need. You the bottle was full. And we done poured it all the way out to a little bit of nothing. You see what's it's just a little bit in there. Because we be thinking we need gulp, so naturally we just need a sip. We just need a sip. That's it. That little sip will get you there. But we want we want this big grandoso amazing thing, the, the sky to crack open, the ground to shake, the trees to turn purple and, and red and, and blood to fall out of people's eyes and ooh, 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 magical boom. No, it ain't no, it ain't going down like that. Get to work, baby. Get to work. And you start by getting to work on you. What am, I, what am I asking Jesus to come in my heart for if I'm not prepared to receive what he has for me? And if I'm not prepared to receive... Well, okay, check this out. This is a prime example. Why am I going to fill out an application to a job that I know I'm not about to put my all into doing to, re, to, to receive the benefit the job gives me? I, I go to get the job. The job is going to pay me a substantial, handsome salary, but I'm filling it out to do nothing. No, man, ain't how it go. So when you when you when you ready to make that change in your life, 
what you're doing and proverbially or by example what I'm speaking about you're filling out the application for Jesus to help your life you're saying Lord this is what I'm going through this is what I'm dealing with this is what's going on and then you start acknowledging things in your life and you ain't even you said God whatever you have for me I'm gonna prepare myself to be open to receive it and what he has for you is Jesus the punishing power of life You're a person. Jesus was a person. Man. God is you. You're 100 percent God. You, Jesus was 100 percent God. You're 100 percent man. Jesus was 100 percent man. A prime example. A prime reflection of. And people, people like they, they just you know we get we get caught up in, in, in knowledge and shouting matches about Jesus and all of this extra stuff, this extra noise. Man, come on, kill that noise. Either you're going to get right with yourself because you can say, all right, Jesus ain't real. And you can say that uh, I know there's some brothers that believe that it's, it's, it's been given to us by the quote unquote white man and all of these things. And it's like, all right, okay, cool. So what are we going to do? We're, we're in turmoil right now. What are we going to do? We're going to sit here and argue with each other. Or are we going to get each give each other what we need? Not, not only each other, but are we going to give ourselves what we need to be prosperous in this life? What else are you going to give me that's tangible and sustainable? More information, just information without substance. I ain't mean to even go there. My bad. It's up to you. Embrace life's instincts to evolve. Embrace what God has given you to make the necessary changes. And the first step that our, one of our objectives is learn. Learn who you are, learn what you have, and learn what you need to do for you. For you. Because we listen to people all day. All day we listen to people. But we're not listening to the instinctual properties. We're not listening to that instinct. We're not listening to our heart. We're not listening to what God has given us naturally to guide us. And then our spirit is speaking to us. And people are coming into our lives that are confirming these things. And we ignore them. We throw them away. So it's a principle. What you going to do? How you want to do it? You want to stay in a rut? Cool. That's how you want to do it, then that's how you want to do it. But if you want to make that necessary change, it starts with you. You have what it takes. It's, 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 it's with you. It's with you. These are principles. And if you're open and vulnerable enough, not only with yourself, and then when you start to be open and vulnerable with others, then it helps to let them to say, dang, yo, Bro, sis, check. Hey, I didn't even know. Check this out. Hey, dang. I was just feeling this. I was just thinking this. I was just going through this. And look at they, they telling it. And so, oh, oh, I didn't know I could do that too. And once you find out you can do something, man, do you know we do it and do it to death? They be like, hey, all you got to do is push that button right there. What? This button right here? This button right here does that? And we start pushing it. You know how we just play with it. Like, oh, wow, we be amazed. Like, we turn into a little kid to the, hey man, stop pushing the button before you break it, man. I just can't believe that. I mean, I can't wait to get one of these. That's how it go. That's how it go. All you gotta do is turn that right there and it's gonna, it's gonna unlock everything you need. What? I didn't know, you sure? That ain't what they told me in the world. That ain't what they told me on the block. That ain't what my homies told me and my homegirls told me. That ain't what society told me, but all I gotta do is turn this and it's gonna change everything. You sure? And we get scared. You sure, you sure? Bruh, I'm telling you, like you see what I'm doing. No, oh, man, I don't know. We talk ourselves out of it. I don't know. I don't know. We scared to be, step out that comfort zone. We scared that these insecurities is going to get exposed. I don't want nobody. We scared that these mistakes is going to be the downfall of us. I don't know, bro. Just do it. Step on out and do it. I'm telling you, you got to do it, though. I can't do it for you. You got to do it. Oh, clack, you unlock that thing. You look around. You know what I'm saying? You know how you first do it. You kind of, yeah. It worked. Oh, it, it worked. You get excited. You turn into a little kid. I'm trying to tell you. When you get something and somebody give you something and it's, and it's helpful and it's pure and you know you can use it, bro, you be like, yes. I ain't, hey, I ain't, I, when you see, 
<laughs> when you see people doing that dance, that dance, that dance, that dance, that dance. That's how you feel, bro. You be like, what? This thing, bro. Ah, it work, it work. It work, it work. Guess what? Guess what? I got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Ooh, ooh, uh, uh. yeah. You be happy. You be happy. You be happy. You start telling people, showing people, yeah, 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 yeah. And they be like, what they over there so happy? Why are they doing that? What's wrong with them? Because they don't get it. Because they got to get it on their own. That's why we don't worry about what people got to say about us. Because you got to get it for yourself. Uh-huh. Somebody looking at me dancing right now. This lady over here is chilling with her dog. And she looking at me like, what is wrong with this fool? But I know what's going on. She don't understand it. Because she got to find it for herself. Uh, she got to find it for herself. Uh, the same way. And once you identify with somebody that done found it for themselves, and y'all lock in and y'all say, you found it? Yeah, I found it. Ah! Mm -mm -mm, yeah. <laughs> and we keep going and we keep going and we build and we build and we build and we're talking about that process of learning because those of our three objectives at elite learn grow and advance so right now we're talking about learn we gotta learn we have to learn it's a necessity god gave us a brain a full-fledged computer that processes in its blink of an eye based off your decisions why do you think these devices, where you think they come from? These are, these are replicas of your brain. You can type something in this device and instantly it does what, it, what you type in it to do or what you're requesting from it because that's what it's designed to do. You're designed to help yourself, to program, to, to program yourself, to give yourself the necessary things to help lift you up out of whatever it is that you feel you, to propel you to where it is you know you're supposed to go. Huh. Dang it. I be getting mad at myself. <laughs> so that's that. I ain't, I ain't going to drag it. I just want to say I thank God for everybody and the process of learning. I mean, the process of understanding. Learn. Learn what you have. Learn who you are. Learn where you come from. Learn what you're made of. Learn that you're connected to everything. Everything. You're connected to this. You're connected to this. This is life. You're connected to this. You're connected to this. And in this season, these fall off of the root from the tree. They fall off. The tree goes dormant. But guess what happens in the season after the season that's next. It springs back. Ooh, and when we spring back, every time your season comes around, you gotta be ready to come on up out the ground. You can do it. You can do it. He's gonna sustain you, he's gonna keep you, and he's gonna make sure you have everything. It is in you. It is you. You are it. Now let's make that let's make that conscious effort and that conscious decision to stand on it. And say, I'm gonna learn what I need to learn. I'm gonna go through the process of understanding and I'm gonna make sure I do what I need to do to get to where I know in my heart of hearts that I belong to be at. You can feel it. It's in you. You can see somebody and know and, and, and just know that's where you belong but you have a process to get there. So take the necessary steps. All right, I appreciate everybody for getting on here. Uh, dang it, I done, uh, I got some, I'm a, my next video, uh, I gotta get all our social media handles, but please, please share this video, like this video, comment. For those that already commented, let, you know, let, it, let us know the feedback, let us know what you feeling in your heart. Uh, let us know what you're learning right now as of today for yourself. And um, we just, we're just we just glad to connect with you. We pray that we can uh, connect with individuals that are looking to make that necessary change in, them, in their lives on a daily basis. Not just in a season. Not just in a season, but in a daily basis. Because every season is different and every season brings forth something different. So we want to be in each season and sustaining ourselves in each season. 
even if it's in our season or if it's out of our season. We want to keep that. You with me? Learn the process of understanding. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We praise you, Father God, for your greatness, your kindness. We thank you for your purpose. We thank you for your love, Father God. And right now, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we pray for those individuals, Father God, that uh, the family of those individuals that had, did not make it on today, Father God, or the families of the individuals that have lost a loved one in the recent months, Father God. We pray right now guidance and from your spirit, Father God. We pray connection and peace, Father God, and love from your spirit, and un your spirit Father God, and understanding, Father God. Heal the broken heart, Father God. God, uh, I'll uplift the, 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 the low spirit, Father God. Give them the energy, Father God, from you, the source of all things, Father God, to, 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 to revitalize their hope, revitalize their faith, and revitalize their purpose. And right now, Father God, specifically speaking on today, I pray for all the individuals that are out there, Father God, that are digitally connected to us, Father God, that may see this video, that have, uh, that have tuned into this video, Father God, that may be touched by this video. We pray right now for every situation that they have before you, Father God. We pray for Father God, that they find you, Father God, and we speak that your spirit finds them right now in the name of Jesus, that it goes out and it conquers all of the things that it needs to conquer to help the individual know that you are for them. You have created them for such a time as now. And we thank you right now for the individuals that we be sparked in hope and find faith and believe that you are real for them and will make that change, Father God, to help change other lives, Father God. Name speaking, Father God, let that individual be changed. Allow me to be changed, Father God, and all of us. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, please forgive us, Father God, for anything that we have done against you, Father God, against our purpose, Father God, against anyone else, Father God, and allow those that we have done anything against, Father God, to forgive us in the same manner, Father God. Allow us to have peace, Father God. Allow us to have understanding, Father God, and allow us to go forth in what you have called us to do to help each other, to help individuals, to help families, to help our communities, to impact this entire world. We thank you. We love you. We praise you for all that you've given to us. And we can, if you never give us another thing, Father God, thank you for everything we have now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. You got it. Learn the process of understanding. You got it. You have everything you need. You have what it takes. Just take it. Just take it. That's why the Bible says the, you, the, you take it back by force. You thinking violent stuff. No, we about to take this thing. I'm taking my purpose. I'm taking what God has given me. I'm taking everything that I have lost and I'm going to take it back based on what I choose to do. Being open to learn and being ready to give myself some room to grow and being on the charge to advance according to uh, charge to my purpose, according to my purpose. We got it. We got it. We doing it. We doing it. All right? I love you. I appreciate you. God bless. Go Elite!